ladies and gentlemen, quick review. This is through my base hunter service that this came through. Um, Fender P base, made in Japan. It's Fender P B57, made in Japan uh, by Fuji again in about 1992, 93. Uh, candy apple red. Um, for its age, I mean, it's in pretty fair condition, really. It reached me, and it clearly hadn't been played for a long time, maybe over a decade, judging by the amount of, um, you know, it has some tarnishing on the heads, a little bit of tarnishing on the frets and stuff like that, you know. So um, it hadn't had any uh, TLC for a long time, hadn't been played for a long time just been sitting around gathering dust um, but actually um, I was able to uh, service it and get it working just perfectly yeah it's uh, it's feeling really good and I'm gonna just demonstrate it um, to you um, put on a beat So I just play a little groove with the tone right down, volume up. Double that up uh, using with the tone full up this time. Okay, put some chords over the top. Something like that. Sounds good, right? It's nice. Uh, when I first when it first came in, um, the circuitry was was a bit dirty. It needed cleaning, of course. So I opened her up and uh, just uh, gave it some TLC, and uh, everything seems to be functioning just fine. The soldering was all right. There was no dry rot, um, so it it suggests to me that it was uh, just kept in normal conditions, but just not touched for for years. Um, it's a, I believe it's a two-piece older body, um, finished in candy apple red. Uh, you've got the one-piece maple neck with the walnut shim in the back of it. Um, and the beautiful thing about this neck is that the fretboard, uh, there is no extra, there's no separate piece for the fretboard. It's all one piece um, in true original style. Right now the tone is right up. Alright, so that's with the tone full up. Let's go midway. All the way down. Now 
Now these strings are, are new, I just put them on fresh to th today because the strings that were on it were so old uh, there was no recovering those really. Um, I guess they were the original strings, it seems like it's maybe a purchase somebody made a couple of decades back and never really, unfortunately never really got around to using it very much. Um, so the frets are quite uh, fine actually, they're quite uh, thin, low profile frets, so it's nice and easy to play. Yeah, I love it actually, it's very very nice. Um, there is still a bit of room on the fretboard for adjusting the truss. It's not fully there yet. Um, I've left it with a little bit of relief um, and it feels good to me. Could go a little bit, could go a little bit flatter though. But it's quite easy to play. Well, there you go. I'm not going to... I could play this thing for hours, I guess, and enjoy it. Um, now, uh, it's not, you know, it's not like the finest instrument in the world, but um, it's pretty darn good. Um, and, you know, through my bass hunter service, which I find, and I can find um, a bass for you, uh, made in Japan bass, any brand that you're interested in, Moon, Atelier Z, whatever it is, um, you know, rare Fender Japans from the 90s, Kubiki Blasters, all these kinds of things that you've seen coming through here. Um, I do a bass hunter service uh, for, for overseas customers. Uh, and, you know, I can find these uh, relatively inexpensively, have them serviced and set up for you and shipped out to you. So, you know, if you're interested, give me a shout and let me know. Um, and hopefully you can also have one of these very nice uh, Fender Japan P bases from the 90s. I have to say these are better than the current ones. The current ones... Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, it seems like um, there's been cost-cutting going on with, with Fender Japan builds. Um, and actually, you know, Fuji Gen's own brands are better. But anything that is pre-2000s, it tends to be pretty damn good. 